All right, we have more on uh, Scott Walker's race uh, for Jefferson Parish Council at large. Um, here's Fletcher Mackle with more. It, it, that's right, we're here in Old Metairie with the newest Jefferson Parish Councilman at large, Scott Walker, a huge victory for you. Your opponent outspent you five or six to one. Talk about this huge victory. First time running for public office, first victory. I'm not sure how much money he had, but I know how much money we didn't have. <laughs> and we really, I mean, we won this race without spending $100,000. And I think that is a seismic win in Jefferson Parish politics because people told me before I started this race, you need to have $500,000 to win. And I didn't believe it because I wasn't sure I'd be able to get it. But I believed in myself and I believed in this campaign and I believed in the message that we were putting out there and we did it. I mean, we, we won a parish-wide race without spending $100,000. Wrap your head around that. Why was that? Was it your message? Was it truly a grassroots effort? What do you pinpoint and say this was the recipe for success? I can't say enough about the people who believed in this campaign from the beginning, the people on this campaign team. We called ourselves tiny but awesome. We went everywhere in this parish. We got in front of as many people as we could and we spread our message as fast and as quickly as we could in a limited amount of time. It was a long three months. The days were long. The weeks were short. But we got it done, and I think it speaks to um, the desire for change in Jefferson Parish and, and the way that people want to move this parish in a different direction for the future. And I think from the parish president on down, we are on a great track, and I think Jefferson Parish has a ton of potential as we look down the road. What are some of your ideas? Because that was one of your big platforms. Obviously, change, you beat someone who's been in elected office for 20-plus years. Do you have, if you could share just maybe a couple of quick ones right now, some ideas that you'd like to see over the next four years? And it's not just change. It's taking where Jefferson Parish is now and moving to another level, to go from a, a good Jefferson Parish to a great Jefferson Parish, to improve our infrastructure, to improve our um, economic development processes where you can open a business in Jefferson Parish without a lot of red tape. You can streamline the process and make it easier for people to come into Jefferson Parish, do business in Jefferson Parish, and thrive in Jefferson Parish. To keep people here, we've lost 2,700 residents over the past two years. Jefferson Parish needs to be a place for young and old alike to be able to come to, live here, survive, thrive, and do great things. 18 months ago, you were covering politicians. Did you think you would be <laughs> one 18 months later? I honestly didn't plan on doing this when I left TV news. It's something that developed over a period of time and it wasn't a quick decision. I did a lot of research and talked to a lot of people before I did this. And this was the race I pinpointed. This was the race I thought I could win. And not only did we win, but we did it in a resounding way. And I think the people of Jefferson Parish have spoken. I think it's awesome and I can't wait to get started. All right, Scott Walker, congratulations. All right, back to you all. Yeah, big round of applause. There you go. So quiet during the interview. All right, back to you all in the studio. All right, right now.